How quickly your blood sugar will rise after eating depends on what you eat. Our bodies, particularly our brains and hearts, depend on sugar for energy. Blood glucose is the term for the amount of glucose, a type of sugar, in the blood. Problems can arise when blood glucose is either too high or too low. So, what foods should you avoid and what's good to eat? In this video, we will discuss what causes blood sugar to increase after eating certain foods. And then we will provide you with a list of foods that raise blood sugar levels the most to help you balance your blood sugar levels to prevent blood sugar spikes and crashes. Let's dive into the world of foods that are responsible to increase blood sugar levels. Disclaimer. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new diet or exercise program or using any home remedy. 1. White grains. White grain containing foods, such as white bread, pasta, and rice, are all examples of refined carbohydrate sources, meaning they have had much of their fiber removed during processing, according to the American Heart Association. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that has many benefits. It's not digested by the body, so it influences gut health and may slow digestion, which may help blood sugar levels. It also helps you feel fuller longer to reduce the likelihood of overeating, which can negatively affect blood sugar. When possible, opt for whole grains, such as whole grain bread, whole wheat pasta, and brown rice, which are rich in blood sugar regulating fiber. Quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, and whole barley are also great whole grain options. 2. Sweetened drinks. It's really hard to control blood sugar if you're drinking sweetened beverages. What do most regular sodas, fruit punches, and iced teas have in common? They're typically loaded with added sugar and calories while offering little to no nutritional value. Apart from containing heavy amounts of sugar, drinks like soda, sweetened iced tea, and even fruit juice contain virtually no protein, fat, or fiber. Moreover, these drinks don't actually aid satiety, and most people would prefer to actually gain some fullness out of anything that's going to raise their blood sugar. While for the most part, the best course of action is to entirely avoid sweetened caloric drinks. If you don't have low blood sugar and are simply craving something sweet, you can scratch the itch with a sugar-free seltzer. Still, your main beverage of choice should be water. If you have trouble putting away water without the flavor, try adding pieces of freshly sliced fruit to your water bottle. 3. Non-dairy milk. Even dairy milk counts as a carb but it is a carb with a low glycemic index. That's not always true for non-dairy milks, with oat milk being very high in sugar, noting that rice milk tends to be the highest in sugar. As far as milk substitutes go, unsweetened soy tends to be the least likely to spike your blood sugar, thanks to lower sugar levels and higher protein levels. Nutrition information varies by brand, so be sure to read the label. 4. Fried Foods Sure, no one is calling fast food a health food, but we tend to think about hamburgers and french fries being high in calories and fat. The truth is, fast food items tend to also be high in sugar and refined carbohydrates too, potentially causing blood sugar spikes. The food absorbs fat during the frying process, which isn't good for your cholesterol, heart health, or weight while trying to manage diabetes. Some popular drive through burgers actually contain as much as a candy bar. When fast food is the only option, Remember that buns, breading, condiments, fries, and soda tend to all be very high in sugar and refined carbohydrates. So keep the number of these foods that you order to a minimum. Try baking or broiling your food instead. Air fryers that use hot air instead of oil also are a healthier option. 5. Fruit Yes, it's true that fruit can spike blood sugar levels, but that's no reason to strip it from your diet entirely. After all, fruit is rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber, all of which are great for your health and management of type 2 diabetes. Make sure that you count any fruit consumed as a carb, with one tennis ball-sized piece of fruit counting as one serving. Opt for whole, fresh, or frozen options when possible because they're unprocessed and don't come with the addition of any sugars. If you prefer canned, make sure the fruit is packed in water, not sugary syrup. Lastly, even if you do manage to find dried fruits that don't contain added sugar, know they will still drastically spike your blood sugar. That's because these fruits have been dehydrated, 
meaning they contain just as much sugar as a whole fruit, but in a single bite. For example, according to the USDA, while a whole apricot has just over 3G of sugar, only two tablespoons of dried apricots has that same amount. 6. Specialty Coffee Drinks Do you hit the corner cafe once a day to grab a decadent dose of caffeine? Those lattes, cappuccinos, and other special treats can add lots of extra sugar, calories, and saturated fat to your daily diet. Instead, go for straight coffee served either black, with a dash of artificial sweetener, or a small splash of skim milk. 7. Sweetened Cereals Fun-shaped marshmallows on sugar-coated flakes turn breakfast cereal into little more than a carb-loaded sweat treat, and that is not the healthiest way to start your day. There are healthy whole-grain options in the cereal aisle that are lower in sugar and higher in fiber. Spend some time checking nutrition labels for cereals with at least 3 grams of fiber and less than 6 grams of sugar per serving. Are you diabetic and already avoiding the foods in the list? If not, then start skipping these foods from your diet today. Overall, it is best to avoid the foods that raise blood sugar because studies have found that diets high in high glycemic foods increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Studies have also found that limiting high glycemic carbs can help reduce blood sugar levels in those with diabetes and can help reduce hemoglobin A1c, which is a marker of long-term blood sugar levels. Avoiding foods that cause blood sugar spikes can also help improve cholesterol levels, decrease the risk of heart disease and stroke, support weight loss, and may reduce the risk of certain cancers. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, keep sharing our videos, and subscribe our channel for more videos and content like this. Live fit, live healthy, and stay informed about nature wonders, and don't forget to watch our next video. Thanks for tuning in.